Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to dive into a practical Python script that allows us to monitor real-time bandwidth utilization on our system. So if you are curious about how much data your computer is sending and receiving over the network, you are in the right place. We will be using psutil library along with the matplotlib to create a live graph that updates every second showing the bandwidth usage. Let's jump right into the code. So guys, we start by importing the necessary modules. First, I am going to import time for time related functions. And then I am going to import psutil library for system monitoring. And then I am going to import uh, matplotlib for plotting. Alright, and in matplotlib, I am going to import from matplotlib dot animation I am going to import a function called func animation so basically this line imports uh, the func animation class from the matplotlib animation module uh, which we will be used to create animation in the plot alright so let's proceed further uh, we then initialize three lists to store our data first is time is temps so first and the second one is uh, mb received and the third one is mb sent so basically this uh, will store the time and corresponding data for received and sent bandwidth so now uh, i am going to create uh, two variables uh, I the first one is last receive so the in this last receive uh, i am going to use this psutil module that uh, i have imported and then for the net uh, io counters here it is and then i am going to use bytes received all right and then i am going to create another from uh, another variable uh, which will be same that psutil dot net dot I, io counters and then we have dot bytes sent all right these uh, lines initialize the variables last receive and last send with the initial values of bytes received and bytes sent obtained using the psut library so basically these uh, values will be used to calculate the difference in data over time all right now uh, we are going to create a function name update data which takes an argument i so basically this function will be called repeatedly to update the data in the plot uh, i am going to set the global variable which is last receive and last Uh, there is a spelling mistake I should have right here last so I can write last sent this line declares last receive and last sent as global variables within the function uh, it allows the function to modify these variables declared outside the function all right is uh, I am going to create uh, two variables which is called uh, bytes uh, receive so in this variable I am going to again use this psutil library dot net dot io counters all right and i'm going to again collect the receive bytes here and the same will happen here that dot uh, i'm going to create a variable called bytes send and then again use this psc library and then uh, net io counters function here and here i am collecting the bytes which are sent these lines uh, update the variables byte received and byte sends with the current values of the bytes received and byte sends. Alright, so as the function will execute and the uh, bandwidth utilization will change, of course, so the values will be updated automatically within the function. So uh, I am going to create uh, another uh, variable called new received. So in this new receive function, I am going to convert it in uh, the values that I am collecting here into into megabytes all right so for this i am going to use this uh, bytes receive minus 
last received all right so i am going to uh, extract the current uh, bandwidth utilization and then divide it with 1024 and then again divide it with 1024 all right so this is uh, after dividing convert it into bytes into kilobytes and then into megabytes value of the bandwidth will be stored in mbs all right and then uh, for the same uh, i am going to repeat it with the new sent variable so in for this i am going to use this uh, bytes sends minus last sent all right and then i'm going to again 1024 minus 1024 all right uh, sorry i need to divide it with 1024 uh, so basically uh, these lines uh, calculate the difference between the current and the previous values of the bytes received and being and uh, bytes sent converting the result from bytes to megabytes now guys uh, let's append the values that we have created into the list uh, which we are going to plot so i am going to use this uh, timestamp here dot append The time function here time dot time all right i'm calling the time function and then uh, i'm going to uh, use this mb received dot append method and in this i'm going to uh, append the new record uh, which have the data in mb and then i'm going to use the list mb sent and append dot append and then i'm going to send the data new send so guys uh, these lines append the current timestamp new received data in mb and new send data in mp to their respective list so guys i need to specify the length of the graph and to specify the length i'm going to use this length function and then i'm going to use this timestamps and i'm using uh, for the demonstration i'm using the 60 data points here all right so basically what will happen uh, the after the 60 data points will reach the last value which we have uh, which we have received will be deleted from the graph so i'm using this pop zero and then i am going to use this uh, mb received and dot pop zero the last received value will be the earliest received value will be deleted and the earliest sent value will also be deleted so basically this block of code checks if the number of data points stored exceeds 60 if it does then earliest data points are removed from the list to keep a rolling window of the last 60 data points all right uh, now I am going to use ax dot clear. Uh, why this is not working? Uh, yes, I should write here dot py plot as plt. So guys, let's remove the line. So uh, before proceeding further, uh, let's initialize. Initialize the plot. Uh, I am going to initialize the plot. So I am going to create a variable called figure and ax. So in this uh, variable, uh, I am going to assign this plt dot subplots this function. All right. So as you can see, this part is not uh, inside the function. This is out of the function. Uh, so basically, uh, I think can that this line uh, initializes a new figure and subplot for the plot. Alright, now uh, let's go back to our function uh, where we are using the ax. I forgot to initialize it. I should have done it before writing it inside the function. Now, so this ax will be inside the function. So I'm using ax dot clear. Alright. So uh, this line clears the previous plot uh, in the AX subplot so the new data can be plotted. Alright, and then I'm going to use uh, AX dot plot 
dot plot. So the first value that we need to plot is timestamp, and then we have this MB received, and then I'm going to uh, which will be MB received. All right. So and then for the send, I'm going to use the same method, ax dot dot plot, and then timestamp, and then we have mb send, and then I'm going to use the label. And right here, mb send. Uh, these lines uh, create two line plots on the subplot AX, one for MB received and one for the MB sent using the data from timestamps, MB received and MB sent variables that we have created above. Here, these are the list that will, these values will be plotted onto the graph. Now, uh, I am going to use the line AX dot legend. So, basically, uh, this line adds a lege end to the subplot uh, to differentiate between the two lines. Now uh, I am going to use uh, the two. Uh, basically, uh, now I am going to use the condition that uh, last received uh, is equals to bytes received. All right. So I am going to synchronize them now. Uh, last sent is equals to bytes. Sent. So basically, uh, this line update the last record and last sent variables with the most recent values so that the next iteration of the function can calculate the difference. Alright, now let's come uh, how can we initialize the plot. So we have already uh, built the basic uh, initialization of the plot here and then uh, I am going to use uh, this plt. I am going to use the x label we have created in uh, previous videos also. So, then I am going to name it the x label is time, and then I am going to use this y label, and the y label is I am going to say mb. Alright, so basically it will be used to calculate the mb. Alright, so basically these lines set the labels for the x axis and y axis and the title of the plot. Alright, so yes, I forget to put the title here. Title. Uh, so the title here, real time bandwidth utilization. Alright, so it will be the title will be real time bandwidth utilization. So basically, these lines set the labels of the x axis, y axis, and the title of the plot. Alright, so and now I am going to use a variable called ni for animation function, and in this, I am going to use this func animation which we have imported from Medplotlib. I am going to use this figure plot here, uh, which I am going to use uh, this function. And then I am going to call this function here, which is update data. All right, and then interval I want to repeat it to thousand. So basically, this line. So basically, this line creates an animation using the func animation class. Uh, it specifies that the update data function should be called to update the plot. All right, so in every thousand millisecond, which means one second. All right, so and then I'm going to use this plt dot show function in order to show the plot. So basically, uh, this line displays the plot and animation begins updating the graph every second with the latest bandwidth utilization. So guys, uh, the code essentially uh, create real time network bandwidth utilization. Uh, data and plots it continuously creating an animated graph that displays both MB received and MB sent over time. Uh, the data is updated every second and a rolling window of the last 60 data points is maintained for visualization. 
Now guys, uh, let's run the script and see it in action. So guys, here you can see uh, it is the MB received and MB sent. I'm going to maximize it. So here it is 0 0.04. It is it is changing continuously in every second. You can see that in every second the my uh, the loading is uh, it is loading the current utilization. So guys, so uh, first uh, let's see that. Uh, the blue line here is MBs received, which means that it is the system is receiving MBs, and the, uh, the orange line which says that the MB is being sent. So uh, whenever we upload something, some uh, you upload something, uh, it will send some data. So we can see that uh, now. So basically, to demonstrate it, I am using this image uh, resizer to select an image uh, to see the difference in bandwidth utilization. So I'm going to just a random image. I'm going to select. Uh, I'm going just a random uh, image. I'm going to select. All right. So as the, it is uploading, uh, you can see that uh, it is as it is uploading. You can see that the the sent MB has been exceeded to approximately one MB. All right. So if I am going to load this load this image uh, resizer, so we can see that uh, after loading it, uh, the MB received utilization has been increased. All right. So basically, it is receiving more mbs why because i am loading something all right so as i am going to download it in my system so it will also increase resize image so it is also loading and processing you can see that the changes in bandwidth uh, as it is being utilized so i am going to download the image so as uh, i am downloading we can see that the received the basically we are receiving the uh, we are receiving data here so that is how the utilization of uh, received has been increased all right so basically it is uh, the hops that are being 60 as the 60 data points will be here and more than 60 data points will be uh, removed as per the condition that we have applied the length of the graph all right so uh, if i'm going to close this window uh, and go back to my code and this time uh, I am going to uh, instead of 60 uh, I am going to uh, write the 600 data blocks uh, there we have yes 600 data points now and then I am going to again run this program and see the so basically here uh, it will store the most early uh, basically it will uh, store the 600 data points uh, and more than 600 data points uh, which we have received earliest will be removed from the graph so uh, suppose uh, if i'm going to create a, a video all right so basically if if, if i'm going to uh, you can see that the received is uh, more than 1.5 mb because the youtube is utilizing bandwidth as i am loading the youtube uh, you can see that the mbs has been this time we received has been increasing so guys uh, as we can see uh, as the script runs the graph updates in real time showing the live bandwidth utilization uh, you will see notice separate lines for mb receive and mb send giving you a clear picture of your network activity all right so basically there you have it uh, a simple yet effective python script to monitor your system real time bandwidth utilization you can use this for various purposes from tracking data usage to optimizing network performance so guys uh, if you found this video helpful uh, do not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more python tutorials and hit the bell icon to get notification whenever we upload a new content thanks for watching it i will see you in the next one